Hello, welcome. My name is Opendako, welcome. I want to share with you four, four reasons that business failed. <laughs> four reasons that business failed. Four reasons that business that you were so much passionate about that you thought was going to work out uh, failed. You may you you probably had read a lot. You were so convinced. You probably even heard from God that I start that business. And maybe they gave you a prophecy. <laughs> and you started that business. Maybe it started to work well. And then somewhere along the line, things started to go opposite to your expectations. So I, I just want to uh, assume <laughs> you know, or predict or maybe, you know, get, share with you some of the reasons I think that business uh, failed, you know why some of those businesses that you started fail entrepreneurship is uh, is a very tough game it's very difficult a lot of people don't win that quickly many people will go through all kind of channels all kind of ways before they start to win and so i did say that if you if you started and it didn't work it may not be out of law it may just be part of the game just part of the process just part of the stages that you're going to go through some people take it very uh, uh you know they take it too too extreme when they fail at anything you know especially business i can understand when it's a small business and it fails when it's just uh, something we just started and it didn't pick but if you commit about five years, 10 years, <laughs> eight years of your life into building a business and a face, and that one, you cannot take it lightly. But I want to assure you that <laughs> you will face somewhere. <laughs> so <laughs> just be ready for it. <laughs> it's part of it. The, the, the factors that make businesses to succeed um, are there. And there are factors that make businesses uh, to fail. And if you cross them, they, you, you feel the heat. You know, so when it doesn't work out, they probably, there are probably some reasons that you, you may not have taken notice. That's why it didn't work. You know, so but the number one that I would say is that weak sense of purpose. Weak sense of purpose can make that business fail a lot of people think that uh, i want to start business so that i will make money <laughs> i want to become rich that's how i start business that's how i became an entrepreneur if that is your reason fantastic but that appears to be a weak one because if it's money that you want to make that's why you want to become an entrepreneur i think there are easier ways to make money than to start business. If it is your sole aim of starting a business, just to make money, then there are far better ways to make money than to start a business. I think the problems are too many. The troubles are too many. The work has to be too long before you start to make money. So if it's because of money that you start you, you started that business, then it's likely that that was a weak purpose. And that is why when things got very tough, you gave up on yourself and you gave up, gave up on your dream. And so weak sense of purpose is probably one of the reasons why that business that you started did not work out as you intended to work, you know, and then you gave up. <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't know why you started that business. You didn't even understand who needed that business 
uh, was there any sense of purpose? What do you think you offered those products or those services? Why were you not sleeping night and day to push that product, to push that service to the market? And uh, why did you give up? A lot of the times, the only thing that will keep going, that will keep you going, is when you have a very strong sense of purpose as an entrepreneur, as a business person. A lot of the time, so many times, why you will always keep going when everybody else has given up? It's that you can connect it with something that is deeper than what everybody else is looking at. And that thing usually is also far deeper than just making money. You know, just making money. Because if you just want to make money, then there are so many ways. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. There are far easier ways to make money than to start a business. So you, it's probably because your sense of purpose was weak. That's why the business did not work out. So you gave up. When you met a lot of challenges, you met a lot of problems. Because businesses, you meet problems. And you can't count on them. You can't count on them. No matter how well prepared you are, no matter how skilled you are, how strong you are, the problems will come. The problems will come and they will test your 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 resilience they will test your character they will test your strength they will test everything that you understand and a lot of the times people who don't have very strong sense of purpose will give up on that business you know so one of the reasons major reasons why a lot of the times we give up and the business does not work because we didn't have a very strong sense of purpose for that business so we didn't know okay i'm bring i am starting a waste processing company why am I starting it? Because I see that there are a lot of waste everywhere and not many people are paying attention. And if, if I'm able to start this business, maybe in the community that I do it, uh, I, I set up that business, I'll be able to employ a lot of these young men and women. Maybe I'll be able to have a, you know, a cleaner environment which will help people to live long. You know, These are strong reasons. Then maybe along the line, I'll make money. This is strong reason. So when you start and you go through all the state agencies and all the other people and they tell you that, no, 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 we don't want to hear. Everywhere you turn, there is negative uh, response. Everywhere you turn, people are, you know, insulting you. Because you see something far greater than yourself, you will not just throw in the towel, you know. So that sense of mission, why did you start that cocoa business? Why did you start that watcher business? Why did you start that, you know? that uh, whatever business that you, you you started, why did you start that? A lot of the times you believe that this is what I, I want to do with my life. So I have no other option but to build this business. That's a strong sense of purpose. <laughs> you know, you believe that this is what connects with you. This is what you're gifted to do. As a matter of fact, some people even call it, this is my mission, this is my calling. You know, so if you have that kind of definition, uh, no matter what you meet, you will still find a way to make it work because you have that high strength uh, sense of uh, purpose. So you meet anybody who does not have that, you can see it in the way they talk. They go two hours to look for something and they don't get the car home, they, they don't want to go again. They give up on themselves. When they go out, they see all the negatives. They don't see the positive because they have a weak sense of purpose. They see why everybody does not listen to them. They see why no, there is no successful business in that sector, you know, because they have weak sense of purpose. But if you have a very strong sense of purpose and it's really defined, not only in your head, not only in your spirit, but also on paper, you write something strong down. That sense will keep you going when everybody else is giving up. The next one is when you have wrong team, bad team when you connect with bad people to start a business or wrong people, not, not bad people, wrong people to start business. They may be good people, but they may not be fit with you to start a business or they may not be the, the, the people to start that kind of business. When you have a wrong team, you will not focus on the things that should make the business work. You, you spend a lot of time uh, fighting over things that have nothing to do with the business, fighting over trivialities, that fighting over things that don't really matter to the course of the business, you know. So um, 
if you have the wrong team, the business will not even start in the first place. And, when, and even if when the business started, when the business started, and maybe the business started and you were doing well, and the team switch, there were a lot of fightings and a lot of disagreement. The business will fail unless you change that team. Can you imagine football team? Like I remember when Ghana was playing somewhere and the boys were fighting. <laughs> even though they were very skilled footballers, I think it's Brazil or somewhere. They were very skilled footballers, professionals, but because they were not of the same mind during that time, they couldn't bring anything home. You know, so you can have very strong, good, skilled people in the team, but you must share that mission. You must be on the same page. You must be committed to making the business work. And so it, probably the business is not work because you had the wrong partner or because you had wrong employees to work with you or whoever was with you was not a uh, well place you know so the business will fail a lot of the times too when you don't have good team good team not just partners alone but employees if you have if you get good people to work with sometimes it can just be one person if that person is the right fit uh the work becomes very much enjoyable the business become you're so happy to go to work you're so happy to connect you're so happy every time there are new ideas that you're generating just because you have created a very strong solid team and the te and the proof of this the, the 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 strength of the team is when things are not working when things are not working the team that you have there is no problem that is stronger than a committed team <laughs> you know, so once you have committed team and you are all looking for the good of the of the business, you are all taking care of, you know. So you have strength in something, and another person has strength in something, you put the strength, the two strengths together, you will you will win, no matter the troubles. Even if the idea is not working, sometimes a lot of or a lot of the times you will be able to figure out which kind of thing that you have to do uh, for the idea to work or for a different idea to work, just because you have a, a good team. You know, so the business probably did not work a lot of the times. So if you sit back and look and, and do your own, um, uh, you know, post-mortem, if you want, uh, if you sit down to do your own calculation, you will see that it did not work because so likely that the people who were around you at that time with the business were not the right people. Were not the right people. So the business, a lot of the times, so would fail because the team was a wrong team, was a weak team. You can't go to war to win if you don't have the strong team to go to war. The football team will not win if the team is not strong. If it's a weak team, everybody's looking for their own glory, the team will fail, the business will fail. You know, so the second reason why the business did not work is that you had a wrong team. You had somebody who was stealing the money, you had somebody who was not being open, you had somebody who was just hiding the ideas. You had somebody who would see things not working, but they, they will not tell you. You had somebody who was giving information to another person. You had somebody who was not bringing any input, who was just there for themselves. If you see these things, if, even if you are in the business now and you see these things, if you don't change them, if you don't correct them, the business will fail. It's a sign that the business is going to fail. You know, so the business probably failed. And a lot of the times it's not even probably it failed because you had the wrong team. You didn't have a solid team at all. There's no business if you don't have a good team. There's no business, especially if you're building a company. There's no company if you don't have good people to work with. So you're always looking for the best of the team, the best of people, the best of skill, people with good heart, with good skill, with good work ethics, with good commitment. You're always looking for somebody like that. Because if you don't get people like that, business is very tough to succeed and to succeed alone. Especially if you want to do something beyond money, beyond making money. If you want to build something, you have a dream, you have a product that you want to bring to the market, you have a pro, you have a, you have a service, you have something that you want to change, you, there is some, some, something that you want to bring, a business that you want to build. You would always need a good team to work with. So if the business failed, sit back and check. It's so likely that you didn't have a good team. And if the business worked, sit back and check as well. It's so much likely that you had, you had a good team. You had people, good partners that you connected with. And that's why it worked.
you know, that's why it worked. So it's not just one person's uh, idea. It's not just one person's input. It's, it's, it's a product. Business success is a product of team effort. You know, it's people coming together uh, towards a specific mission for a specific purpose. And they were ready to sacrifice everything to make it work. And that's why it worked. So if it didn't work, it means that you didn't have people who were ready to sacrifice everything that they had, the time. You know, you don't have to, you don't want to have an employee in your small business or in your the business that you have, you have started who is always looking at his time. <laughs> he doesn't come to work on time. He comes late and he wants to leave early. He just shows up for the salary. The business will not work because there are minimum or there is, there are, you have got to make it some input in terms of hours. Some people say that you have to work smart. No problem, work smart. But a lot of the times it will take a lot of hard work for that company to succeed, for that business to work. And so if you don't have people who are really committed to make the hours, the business will not get the traction for it to work well, you know, for it to work well. So you are, you, so one of the best decisions that you're going to make as an entrepreneur, as a business person, is the kind of people that you bring to work with you, the kind of people you partner with, you know, directly or indirectly. Some will bring you a lot of good results, and some will also bring you a lot of bad results if you really don't look at it intentionally. You know, so one of the reasons, the second reason why your business does not work is because you had a weak team. People who were not committed to the mission of the business. People who were there, but they were not there. You know, <laughs> but they were not there. So my name is Obina I'm talking about four reasons that uh, uh, that business did not work out as you intended it, that you failed, the business failed. And there are reasons why businesses fail, you know, and I'm talking of four of them today. So my first one is that uh, there was weak sense of purpose. And the second one is that uh, you didn't have a, a, a solid team, a strong team. You didn't have the right team. And that's why you didn't have the commitment, you know, the required, required hours for the business to work. The next one will be uh, wrong financial decisions and choices. The third one will be the, the financial decisions that you made when you were running the business. A lot of the times, maybe you took loan, which you didn't have to take. Maybe you took too much interest. You took loan that you didn't need. Maybe the way you, you, you structured the payment terms with your suppliers or with the people you work with, the cash flow was an issue. You know, maybe you took too many uh, employees that you didn't have to take. Maybe you rushed to um, uh, open a, the shop that you didn't have to. Maybe the rent was too much. Maybe you, you took too much products, you know, and a lot of the money went. A lot of the decisions that had to do with money probably went wrong. And that's why the business failed. And one thing about business is that when you face, it's not that it's failed, though other things will show up <laughs> and much of it will become dead you know so it's so likely that the business does not work out because your financial decisions were weak your financial decisions were not right and that's why the business failed you know so if you want it to work if you want the business to work then you will have to look at how am i going to make the right forward if you want the business to work. If you don't want the business to work, then continue to enjoy. Maybe you bought the nice car too early. Maybe you took money from the business to build your house too early. Maybe you changed the school of your children too early. Maybe you started to wear, to wear nice shoes too early. Maybe you know you started to dodge the government officials too early. Maybe you paid too much bribe. <laughs> so it means that you, 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 your financial decisions, one thing about business success is that if you don't have the right financial scale, it's so likely that you'll fail, the business will fail. Most businesses fail because of right, wrong financial choices and decisions. Most businesses fail because of wrong financial decisions. Most businesses fail because of wrong financial decisions. Because once the financials start to weaken, uh, the business is in trouble. You know, so if you see businesses work where working, it means that the people who are making some right decisions they are making right decisions in terms of the finances as well. And so if it's, you know, maybe you increase the salary when you didn't have to increase the salary. <laughs> maybe maybe you, you change some things too fast, you know. 
or maybe you decided not to pay some people. All those will culminate into you having troubles in the business and business pressure. When it continues like that, it gets to a point, it blows up and then the business will work no more. You know, so when you have a business that you're working, look at the cash flow, look at how the money is coming in and look at how the money is going out. And if you're able to make right decisions on that, it's so likely that your business will go well. You know, if, and if you're modest with your, with your decisions and with your expenses, if you're able to track a lot of the things that, you know, if you're able to stay out of a lot of these, um, they call them, uh, what is it? They call them you know, businesses with big loans, you know, high interest loans. If you stay out of those, maybe it's so likely that you'll be able uh, to make sure that the business works. So if it didn't work, if you sit back, you will see that uh, a lot of the decisions financially were wrong and that's why the business didn't work. <laughs> a lot of decisions financially were wrong and that's why the business uh, did not work. You know, so uh, my name is Obin Dalko. I'm talking about four reasons why your business failed, that the business fail. You know, and I'm saying that business is fail. And most successful businesses have had, business people have had a lot of failures. You know, so it will fail. Uh, especially if you are unskilled and are not network and you don't have a lot of financial uh, skill and information, it's so likely that the business, you will crash it. You know, it's like you learn how to drive. <laughs> it's so likely that you get accident, you know. But if you don't give up, you become you become a good driver, you know. So the same. Um, if you are not, if you didn't pay attention to some of these things, the business probably failed because of those. You know, so uh, the third one I'm talking about is bad financial decisions, wrong financial choices. They will contribute to you failing the business that quick. You know, so and uh, wrong financial decisions will contribute to you failing. The fourth one is uh, weak, weak uh, business leadership. You know, the one leading the business was weak. You know, sometimes you have to get say no to some things. Sometimes you have to say yes to some things, even if they agree or they don't agree. You know, because you have some kind of, uh, because if you're the one leading the business, if you're the one started the if you started the business, there are some things that you see that the other people, that people will not see. There are some, you know, some courage that you have got to have some courage to stop some things before it's too late. You know, a lot of the times you have to say no to a lot of these things that take money from the pocket, you know, or bring, you know, for instance, some people will come and say, oh, take my son, take my daughter to work with you. And you know that your finances cannot take that daughter. Now, if you're not strong as a leader, you will just say, you know, okay, come, no problem. Meanwhile, when you pick them, they are going to be paid. And if you don't pay them, they will go and talk or it becomes debt on you. If you have strong leadership, you stand with your words to say that, no, at this stage, the business can take two, the business can take one person, business can take this kind. Oh, no, you're, and you're very solid with your financial decisions, with, with your leadership skill. A lot of the times you can say that, no, no, this business, we don't, we, don't, we don't cut corners, we don't take bribe, we don't pay bribe, you know. Some of those things, you have to be fair. Or, you know, this kind of people, I'm not going to employ again. Some strong, strong, strong decisions the leader must take. And once he understands them, he must have the courage to deal with any ramification, any problems that will come out of that decision. A lot of the times businesses will fail because you decided not to provide the right leadership needed for the business to work. Because the business must have leadership. And if you started the business and you're leading the business, you must provide the right kind of leadership. If you fail to provide that, the business will fail. <laughs> the business will fail and when the business fails it's not a, it's not demo it's not set up it's you you fail to take bold decisions you fail to stop some things you fail <coughs> to apply some things a lot of the times you even know the things that you have to apply. a lot of the times you even know what to apply but you you still want consensus you still want everybody to agree with you you know there are things that you can you could have stopped and now that you are looking back you said ah i should have stopped this thing i should have stopped this thing but you didn't stop it 
because you lack the courage. You are not you are not a tough leader. You are not a strong leader. You didn't provide the right leadership, and that's why the business failed. <laughs> Sometimes it's very tough for people to accept that they didn't have the right skill, leadership skill. You know, you didn't have the right leadership skill because if you're if you're leading a business, if you're leading a business, even if it's yourself, there are a lot of things that you must have. One of it is the right leadership skills. If the leadership in that business is weak, the business is going to collapse. So you know, I put my sister there, I put my brother there, I trusted him. He was very faithful, so I was not checking. And so when he failed, it's because you were weak. It's as simple as that, which means that if you if it's going to work again, that you must change that. It's business, you're, pro, you're providing the leadership. If it's not working, it's because you, the leader, you're not working. That's why it's not working. If, the, if you see any business that is working well, it's because those in charge are really working well. <laughs> That's why. Because you are the one to decide where the money is going. You are the one to decide who works there and who doesn't work where. You are the one to decide which supply to deal with, not which, which the leadership of the business. You are the one making all the decisions. You know, you are engineering everything. So if it's not working, we cannot blame any other person but you. Which means if you failed, it, because you failed to provide the right leadership. You didn't know that you were the one responsible for the business to succeed you know and that's why he failed and that's why he failed you failed to build the right culture for the business you failed to make the right decisions on the finances you failed to pick the right people you failed to set the right sense of purpose for the business and that's why the business did not work out you know which means that you had very uh, limited understanding of 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 of, of business leadership you know, you thought that once you, you you don't have a lot of workers, maybe you were you were waiting till you get hundred workers or two hundred workers or a thousand workers, you know, thousand employees, then you are a big leader. No, once the business starts, in our books, in the laws, on the land, <laughs> you are responsible for any mess that comes up. You know, so if you fail to provide that leadership. The business will fail therefore if you sit back and you look at all the choices and the decisions that you made as a leader what time were people coming to work what time were they closing were they honest with the figures with the, with the services with the product or they would do anything that they would want you know those things if it's not working you go there you as a leader should be able to figure out why it is not working by asking the right questions and once you identify or you, you assume that you have what you have identified, what is the reason the thing is not working, you must have the courage to make the right changes. And so if you refuse to make the right changes, then the thing will not work. And if it does not work, it is, it is because you provided the weak, you provided not the leadership that was needed, you provided weak leadership and that's why uh, the business failed. <laughs> you know, so the same with with countries. You know, the same with anything, with families, with business, with countries, with anything. That there is a leader. Uh, if the leadership is not in charge, if the leadership is not expressing what is required of leadership, you know, then the thing will not work. And so when it fails, they say that everything rises and falls on the leader. So there's no way that we can take you out if the business is not working. You say, ah, may I open the shop? And uh, it was working, and I put somebody there, and the person still. Yes, they will steal if you're sleeping. They will steal, <laughs> but they can steal everything if you wake up. <laughs> you should be able to get up and say, "No, no, no, enough is enough. No, now you have to go. Another person would have to come." You know, so you 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 have to provide the leadership. And so when you go anywhere that the business is working, a lot of the times it's because the leadership is working. That's why the business is working. You know. That's why the business is working. So if the leadership is sleeping, the business will sleep. So my name is Sophie Dalko. I'm talking about why the business failed and four reasons that business that we started failing. Most people will meet you and talk about all the problems that they have met when they started business or the regrets that they have. You know, some people will even lose their family, their marriage, because the business did not work out. When business fails, there's a lot of pressure, financial pressure, relationship pressure. Sometimes people even get sicknesses and, and you know, and get diseases because of business failure. You know, your pressure goes up 
your, your, your debt, you know, the people you owe are calling you, people who have run away with your money, all kind of things happen when businesses fail, you know, so uh, you don't want to go through that. But unfortunately, if you're an entrepreneur, you go through that one way or the other. It's either you crash the same business several times or you crash one business, you leave it and go and start another one. <laughs> so a lot of the people that you see around who are very successful uh, in business, if they tell you what they have endured, you see that they have endured a lot because business is failed. The, the failure rate in the so-called economies that they say they have data is that in every 10 years, you will not have more than 10% of businesses that started within that 10 years. Uh, being still around and doing well, you know, it's very, it's very, very, uh, the percentages are not good. In 10 years, you still have less than 10% is doing well because the factors are many. The factors that make uh, businesses win or successful are many. And the factors that will make the business fail are many as well. You know, so many things, you know, from the money to all the things that they talk about. And so if you don't, if you're not present, if you're not paying attention, the business will fail. And, and a lot of the times, if you are sincere with yourself, if you are in the middle of a, a pain from business failure, if you are saddled with debt everywhere, you know, if you've been disowned by your friends and your partners, if people have been have been disloyal to you, lied to you, cheated you, move on with your lives. If your employees took from you, you later found out that the, you, the business that you, you were building, that you were struggling, they used the money to build their house or buy, buy a nice car or do wedding with it or travel with it, you know? And now you, you come to realize that, ah, I was sleeping. What of the, one of the things that you have to tell yourself is that, yes, it happened. What you don't want to do is to be pain and bitter and dwell on that star, sad story. What you have to know is that a lot of people have gone through that. So you have to pick yourself to say and to fight back so that you win. One thing I can guarantee you is that you're better off because you started that business, even though you have all kinds of problems now because the business has failed. But you're better off because you started that business. Now you're wiser. You have so many things that you have quit, you have you have uh, you have had or you have captured or you have gained just because you went through that process. Maybe it could be a year that the business failed. It could be five years, it could be 10 years, whatever years. Your, your network is wider now. You, have, you are more robust and more strong. You can leverage that to start another business if you so want. And it's so likely that if you start another one, you, you make better decisions and, and, and choices than the previous ones because now you're wiser. Human beings have said that we learn through mistakes a lot. You know, people who become successful have a lot of lessons. People who know a lot now, those who have become experts in anything, is because they have gone through a lot of uh, pressing issues. You know, they have been through the pressure. That's why now they are refined. If you want a pure gold, you pass it through fire. You know, so you cannot be a purified good and you say that they should put ice water on you. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> so if you're gold, you go through the fire, you become more pure. If you're paper, you go through the fire, the fire will destroy you. You know, so it's made, it's, it, it means what, what are you made of? What are you tough? Can you withstand the pressure? A lot of these pressures are not supposed to kill you. The pressure that will kill you is the one that you were dishonest with, the one that you were you were wicked, you were the one that you were you were you were just trying to kill, you know, be fast. And those kind of things can easily send you down. But the pressure that will not kill you is the pressure that you were honest with yourself. You know, it's just that the process, you know, showed your weakness. And there's difference between being wicked and being weak. The weak person is is not. It's not innate to destroy people, to cheat and to lie. Just weak, therefore the process will, you know, over you. And then you find you find yourself on the ground. But if you're wicked, then the pressure can destroy you, then the fire can destroy you. But if you're weak, the fire can refine you because you're impure, then the fire will make you strong. So when you come out of that fire, now your eyes are open. <laughs> now you will know who to, to pick. Now you will know how to spend that money. Now you will know when to when to send that product to the market. Now you will, you will stay. You stay awake. You will pay attention. 
You know, you track the money. Before you are not paying attention to the money. You just send the money and you give anybody any money. Now you are paying attention. Before you agree with uh, to any any interest rate, now you are asking questions. Can the business pay this interest rate? Before you didn't care about the number of employees that you are taking. Now you are looking at the employees. Are they even efficient? Are they working? Are they are you getting value for the money that you pay them? You're paying attention. Why? Because you have been through something. You know, you have been through something. So um the, you know, I'm talking about four reasons. <laughs> the business did not work. The business failed. I'm saying that the business will fail. By all means, if you have been in business for 10 years, for 20 years, you will know that, yes, you have gone through some troubles. Even if the business didn't fail, it came to a point the business was grounded. <laughs> you had to sell everything. You probably lost everybody. You probably lost everything. A lot of the times you, you, you even thought, ah, oh, can I ever get out of this problem? You know, sometimes when entrepreneurs are going through difficulties, a lot of the times you, you have to have this um, self-talk to push yourself and to motivate yourself. Because every challenge that you meet, there will be a tipping point where the challenge will start to go down and you start to become stronger. You know, so... Um, if you're in the middle of that, you don't have to say that I will never get out of this, this problem. No. The problem you will get out of if you pay attention and you fight. Don't run home and cry. Fight back. <laughs> fight back. Do some self-analysis. Sit down and check. Why did I go through this? You know, why did I go through it? You have to understand the environment that you, you operate in, your country. You have to understand the industries that succeed and the industries that don't succeed. You have to understand you know, who are those who are in, succeeding in that industry. There are things that you have to tell yourself. Some people don't care. They will do anything to get money. If you're in that category, you should know that that's the category you are. Some people also do care. They don't want to do anything for money. If you, they, don't, they are not ready to do all kinds of things just to get money. If you're that kind of person, you must have superior systems and structures for you your, for your business to work, which means that you want to stay truthful, you want to stay ethical. And once you want to stay with that, it means that a lot of the money that you have will reflect the strength of your business. Some people run businesses and the money that they get, does, they don't reflect the strength of the business because it's all, it's all ways and means. You know, but you, your business, you, you are, you are tough on yourself. You want to go through the due process. You want to stay with the, with the stages. You want to be straightforward. You want to be honest. In that case, you have to be very much skilled. Because you being truthful, does not necessarily bring growth. What brings growth is are the systems and the structures and where, how well you are skilled, and the quality of decisions that you are making. Being truthful will prevent you from going down. And not ever getting up, you know. But being truthful does not really necessarily bring you growth, which means you must have you must have the right decisions in place. You must understand the whole process. You must understand, you must understand how the things are going. You must understand what you need to do to make the business successful. You must understand that if it's not working, there's something that I don't know, and that I must find. I must find that one that I don't know, you know. So my name is Obindako. I am talking about four reasons uh, that the business that you started, the four reasons the business failed. <laughs> four reasons. Uh, my first reason is weak sense of purpose. Weak sense of purpose. You didn't clarify why you started that business. Why were in it in the first place? You just needed money. You're a hustler. And a lot of times, if you do, the purpose is weak, the business will fail. Because then you have nothing to fall back and to fight with because you're just looking for money. The next one is you have wrong team. They are there only for themselves. They are not committed to the mission. They will not cover you. They go for the glory themselves. If you, are, if you have a wrong team, the business will, because every business is, every business will go through troubles. But if you have a good team, you get together and fight back. The next one is bad financial decisions and choices. So you made a lot of financial decisions that were wrong. That's why the business failed. <laughs> and the next one is you had weak uh, 
leadership, leadership, which means you as a business leader, you didn't provide the right leadership needed. So you were just open, you were just too weak and too open, and you were not firm with your decisions. And that's why it didn't work. So if you want it to work, then you can look at the opposite of these decisions, of uh, these points, and hopefully it will work. But don't kill yourself because you're in the middle of a mess. If there is debt, go back and fight. And talk to the people. Start the business again. Don't tell yourself that me, I will never do business again. Clean the wounds. Give yourself some time. And fight back again. That's what it means. So that you can leverage the skill, the expertise that you have had by starting business. And at least by failing at it. You know, and don't worry about those who laugh at you. Keep fighting. A time will come. To one, one, one business will wipe out every wipe off every 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 other pain that you experience because of the ones that did not work. Because of the ones that did not work. You know, so you just have to be straightforward with yourself, be honest with yourself, and it will work. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends. Tell them about it. This channel is about business, it's about entrepreneurship. It's about Africans taking charge of our economy, especially the youth. You know, if you can't find a job, you can start a business. <laughs> you just need the right skill set. You just need the right mindset. And you just need the right information. It is doable. You know, so thank you very much for watching. And if you started it and it didn't work, start another one. Start another one. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you.